Hi, good day. On this tutorial, I will show you on how to log into a Gmail account on your Kegbot. So, when you use your Kegbot, one of the easiest ways it bypasses bot detection is to save your cookies and your browser states. So, this simply means that if you're using your Kegbot, each bot, which is actually a device clone on the browser, basically has everything it does which means every single thing that particular bot does the website it visits the login um, sections or whatever the bot does whatever, wherever it has logged in it has it saved on okay bot server so this means that if you on the bot at a later time it would use that same details it initially had now this system was to seamlessly make sure every single bot appears as authentic and as real as possible since Google now deducts and ban AdSense accounts where the traffic are usually coming in from people who have no um, accounts linked up with Google or whose visitors are majorly people with no period cookies or history what I'm trying to say is this if you've been using other bots, okay, bot solves a major problem that practically brought you here. One of the things you've noticed is when you drive lots of traffic to your website or to your YouTube channel or your, to your YouTube video, you notice after a while, majority of the views, majority of the clicks, they get deducted. Sometimes on Google AdSense, you're being put on what we call an ads limit or even an ad suspension and your Google AdSense gets disabled. Now this only happens because Google keeps seeing that lots of traffic that was coming in from that your bot were coming in from devices that they did not recognize. On OKEG bot, we were able to solve this issue by making it easy to recognize a browser whenever it comes back to a website. Now we did this by saving the browser cookies the local storage amongst other fingerprints so this means that if you log into a Google account that Google account gets logged in on OKBot so whenever you put in your API key and you on that particular bot you had um, on previously to log in you would still be able to access your Gmail just as though you had actually logged into a real Google Chrome like a real device so today I'm going to be showing you on how to log into a um, how to log in a Gmail account onto a bot. Now I'm going to click on inactive. When you head over to OKBot, bot, if you have bots already created, just click on the free executor. I'm currently on the free executor, and all I have here are currently bots that you know I already have on my bot family. I'm going to turn on one of these bots just to show you an example. And if I put this bot on you would notice that the gmail is logged in um the youtube is logged in i can even assess the email of the account that has been logged in and that's because when i logged into this particular bot or when i logged into gmail on this particular bot virtually every single thing was backed up so this is google.com and you can see that on google.com if i click here i'm already logged in if i also head over to mail.google.com you can see that um, it's also logged in you'd also be able to see I can actually access emails if I also head over to say youtube.com you would also be able to see that um, YouTube is logged in okay so now this simply means that every single thing is actually logged in and um, I can actually automate any tax and whatever I automates I would you know have this um, done by a real account now this increases the authenticity so how do you do this on your own okay bots it's as simple as turning on a bot and just using the bot it has no special settings like I said initially once you log into a bot whatever you do with that bot automatically gets synced in real time so if I open up any browser and I have 
you know any tax automated that browser would automatically have that you know cookies so in real time I'm going to create a bot and I will call this bot James underscore John so this bot is called James underscore John and I'm just going to give it um, let's say to Android and I'll give it um, let's say one iPhone so I created I've ticked two Android and one iPhone my time zone I'm going to put this to be Africa and Lagos now you can actually use any time zone of your choice but I'm currently in Nigeria so this is the time zone here now this bot will be created you can see they've been created success on every one of them and I'm going to click back to the menu and I will choose the free executor now the free executor would load I'll be able to see every single bot I have I'm going to go straight to the bot family called James underscore John which is the bot family we just created and when I get there I would turn any browser of my choice so I'm going to click here look for James underscore John this is it and I will turn any browser of my choice so I can see there are lots of browsers here but I just want to turn this um, Samsung S20 plus so I'm going to put it on okay so now this Samsung has been turned on you can see it here if I head over to google.com you would clearly see that I mean I don't have an account here so I practically I mean it's what it is I don't have an account here now if I head over to YouTube you would also see I practically also do not have an account here so I'm not logged into YouTube as well and if I head over to mail.google.com you would see I don't have an account here as well and that's only because I've not logged in so the moment I log into Google on this particular bot this bot is called James underscore John 0002 it's cloning a Samsung S20 device the moment I log into Google here now what happens is that every single um, platform I get to visit would identify me so I'm going to log into my Google here I have lots of Google accounts but I would log into this one So I'm putting in my danielkeck at gmail.com and I'm going to next. It's going to ask me for my password. And I'm going to put in my password. So I've put in my email address and I've put in my password. So at this stage, I would go on with the two-factor verification. I'm currently on my mobile phone and it's telling me to accept. Yes, accept. And this should log me in. But I have two-factor authentication, so I could likely see two-factor authentication coming up. Okay, I didn't get anyone. Okay, good. So I, I'm logged into my account now. You can see this is my gmail if i head over to google.com you will also be able to see i am currently logged into google so taking some time to load you can see that's my email danokek at gmail.com if i head over to youtube it will also take me to YouTube on YouTube I have lots of YouTube channels so if I go to switch account you can see I have lots of YouTube channels so I'm practically logged in now at this point in time all I have to do is to turn off the bots if I'm done with um, whatever I'm doing so let's assume I'm done I can turn off the OK bot now I have turned off the OKEG okay bots and so the bot is terminated 
well now whichever computer I use anywhere any part of the world as long as that computer has OKBot OK installed on it if I open up that computer and I put in my API key I would also be able to have access to every single bot I already have on OKBot OK and if I go to that particular bot that has my login section like for instance I'm going to head over to James underscore John 002 I would be able to access my Gmail once again this time around I do not have to um, log in anymore it's already saved on OKBot OK whenever I log into OKBot OK using my API key on any computer that has OKBot OK installed I can have access to that Gmail account not just Gmail this is to whatever website you have ever visited you have ever visited any website using the OKBot OK you have ever performed any activity on the OKBot OK whenever you visit OKBot OK and you log in you know you would have that exact state so this is it James underscore John and I'm going to turn on this device now the moment I turn on this device I would once again head over to Google head over to YouTube amongst other places okay was this the specific bot I think there's an issue I don't think I allowed it to I don't think I allowed it to load very well because it's it takes a um, little while to download the state I think I was so fast but I'm going to open the bot again Okay, so I'm going to head over to google.com once again. And you can see it was downloaded. So sometimes when you're on the board, it will take some time to download your states. I recommend you leave it for like up to three minutes before you put on a board on. Um, that's because if you don't wait for some time, you might end up losing your board state. Um, that is that on how to log into a cakebot or log in a gmail to a cakebot and have that gmail logged in so you can use it over and over again so right here I think I have one video here I just uploaded so I'm just going to go give this video a like uh, I'm going to give this video a like I'm trying to give the video if you want like to learn here. python for a career in Hi, good everyone. On this tutorial, I will show you on how to log into your Google account okay. on OK. Okay, so till next time, this is Dan OKEK, and I think I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to delete that bot just because it has my personal Gmail logged in. Um, I know lots of people would always want to try to use my API key to try and see if they can get access to my OKBot account so they can preview all my emails and use it to generate subscription um, I wouldn't advise you to do that but this is just me deleting my cookies or my logged in session so this bot is going to be deleted along with every single cookies it's ever had so this is how to log into OKBot using your Gmail account and have it synced